before we start the video, we have a Champion's Chest Tier 9 to give away to you boys. The loot is kind of crazy, so make sure you enter all rules down below. Did he escape? An RSPS YouTuber that uploads some really decent content, to be honest with you. However, this man is my rival. We have gone back since the early days of Azurai competing against each other. But yeah, Morgan actually got himself the Extreme Collectors, which was the only item we both needed. So fair play, Morgan is the winner. Nice one, Morgan. Fair enough, bro. You've won me fair and square on the first ever Azerite Challenges. Wait, so that means I'm winning, right? The reason we're here is because Diddy has his own boss in Azerite. And in today's video, well, we're going to kill that boss because fuck Diddy. So this is what the Diddy boss looks like in game. Hey, Dan. Nice soul. <laughs> Did you have souls? Taking a look at Diddy's drops. There is quite nice loot on this table. There's a bill box. Two time damage, one build tickets, two times drops, the ring of chaos, the Azerite owner cape, owner's attachment, Azerite attachment, Azerite glaive. They're all very common as well. Uh, the Azerite box is only one in 300, lost vein, golden battle pass, and a load of boxes. Honestly, this is some insane loot for a global boss. So, the gear we're going to be using for this isn't really end to end game OP gear. We're going to be using nukes, of course, but our drop rate is only 134. So, we're going to kill 100 of these. If you're not familiar with our loot from 100 works, how I do it is I'm going to show you. First of all, we spawn the NPC. So, here we have Mr. Diddyscape. And then we're going to nuke him, yeet him out of existence. And we're currently starting at 10 kills. So, 110 kills is where we're going to end it. Oh, we've already got a Ring of Chaos, tier 6. Let's go. <coughs> oh, two times damage scroll. Thank you very much, Mr. Diddyscape. Oh, a one bill box as well. Thank you very much, my friend. Oh, five bill, one bill tickets. Diddy is not slaying himself. I am slaying Diddyscape. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, you heard me right. I am beating Diddyscape. Fuck Diddy. <coughs> Another three, one bill tickets. Making bank. Ooh, another ring of chaos. Easy game. Wait. Did we just get a Nazareth owner's cape? It didn't announce. I mean, three Azerite, I don't even think it's worth mentioning. But that is a two times drops for one hour. He is not doing a loot from 100 diddies. Don't worry. I stole the idea from him. Hi, YouTube, Mario. You're going to be very disappointed when you see this is on the Diddyscape channel. Sorry, buddy. Oh, another two times damage scroll. <coughs> loot's not looking good so far, Mr. Diddy. Actually, I think this loot's looking pretty good. <coughs> the loot's looking pretty good, thanks. Another ring of chaos. Another damage scroll. Oh, there it is. The lost vein. There it is. Huge. Huge. Another Azerite owner kit that don't announce, but it's okay because it's only T6. And the very last kill of this loot from 100 kills of Mr. Diddy, Ginger, Escape, Guard, nothing. So, taking a look at the loot, there's a, you know, we got three Ring of Chaos, we got a load of keys, a lot of global boss tokens, some Azerite caskets, we got eight bill cash, two one bill tickets, which we didn't get. Well, we got one bill out of um, a couple of Azerite owner capes. We did get the Lost Vein, which is huge, and that's about it. Yeah, so it wasn't really bad loot, to be honest with you. I don't really know what the best you can get out of that is. Nothing amazing. Yeah, that's the loot. If you made it this far in the video, hi, nice to see you. Thanks for watching, appreciate you. That's not the only update that Azurai has been doing. They have made a ton of actually really good updates recently that I'm just going to quickly show off before we end the video. So what they've been doing is actually changing the drop rates, buffing them, making them better. This is for most of the global bosses. 
Um, they were all right before, but yeah, they've definitely been buffed and definitely been worth going to now. Um, they're so much better, to be honest with you. Especially one boss that we're looking at here, Crazy Frog. Now, I'm going to be really honest with you. Even they know Crazy Frog was just bad, right? It was just bad. No offense, whatever. But they've updated it. So now it's actually worth, like, it's insane now. So Crazy Frog is huge. But, like, for an Iron Man early game, whatever. Global bosses are now just insane. As you see, they've just buffed everything. Added so many items to the drop table. Dare I say, they have literally made global bosses game changing they've had an iron man boss mr tony stark that dropped some interesting things including iron tokens which you could spend at a shop and get some pretty good rewards from now open all scratch cards oh my god no more spam clicking through scratch cards thank god buffed some more global bosses they have revamped slayer so now the drop tables are completely different for all the slayer bosses which is cool to see now there's a lot of fucking bosses here like genuinely and finally my favorite update of the whole thing since azurite has released is they've added colon colon phenom which takes you to mr pet king himself overall boys i think if they keep on the track of these updates when we do our iron man series it will be fun it will be enjoyable it will be one of the best series we've ever done in azurite because the game will just be fun so keep up with the updates and yeah, I'll see you boys in the next series on Azerite, which will be an Iron Man series.